Hello friends, welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host, Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. Um, today I want to talk about uh, SSRIs such as Lexapro, Zoloft, um, Celexa, Prozac, there are several of them. There's quite a few of them um, and how they work and why they work and what it means to us because I always think you know the, the more knowledge you have the better you're off you're going to be um, especially when you just start taking these things um, there's going to be some side effects and things like that and so this will kind of better help uh, you know understand what's going on I tried to do this while going down the road however I need both of my digits in my hands to tell you how to do this or how this works and why this works. So there's several videos that I've seen on it and none of them really quite done in justice. It gets really um, confusing because there's a lot of um, scientific information and so I have the gift to gab so I always like try to make things more palatable and easier to understand um, for myself and you guys included. So, um, so. SSRI stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. Ah, that's a mouthful. That's what she said. Um, so, what does that mean to us? So, in your brain, you have synapses. And what happens with these synapses is you have a... Uh, basically, you have the giver, and then you have the taker, if that makes sense. And so they don't touch because there's gonna be chemicals that go in between them. So what does that mean for us? So serotonin is released out of the giver and then it sits in this little voided area between them for a while. And then eventually this one opens up, takes the serotonin in, right? So it's a constant transfer of this to that, to this to that. However, um, it's a nice truck. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> when this gets released and the chemical stays in between these two synapses, uh, it doesn't always get absorbed quick enough into the receiver. So if that chemical stays there too long, that serotonin sits in there for too much time, the giver is going to reuptake that serotonin. It's going to say, okay, you're not taking it, I'm taking it back. And it takes that back. And so that's where the Lexapro and Zoloft and all these SSRIs come into play. So it's a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So it's inhibiting the reuptake of that serotonin. So that way it sits in there longer, giving the receiver enough time to open up, take that serotonin, and actually use it throughout your brain. So that's, it's a, it's, it's a lot more palatable way to understand how that's working and why that's working. So, but that's the problem that a lot of people with anxiety, depression, um, and these other mental uh, disorders are, are having. It's the serotonin uptake. It's not uptaking it. So before it re-uptakes it the other way, we need something to come in and block it. And we need to say, hey, don't re-uptake that stuff. We need to give this guy more time to take that serotonin because we need that. Um, and that's where our medication comes into play. Now, if you're, I mean, you've been living in your body for however old you are, plus nine months. <laughs> so that being said, uh, you're used to a certain amount or a gradual change in serotonin. Um, so when you're not getting that serotonin as you need it, it's gonna start getting uh, pretty hectic in your mind. And that's when the anxiety and depression, depersonalization, um, these other mental disorders are gonna start showing themselves. <coughs> so what that means for you is that when you take this medication, you say, okay, I have an anxiety problem. I have a depression problem. When you take this medication, you are going to, as soon as you start taking it, you're going to start feeling different at first because your body needs to adjust to this new amount of serotonin that's being, you know, uptook from the receiver. Um, so it's going to be a little weird at first. So that being said, now that you're actually taking in a certain amount 
of serotonin, the things that you're going to notice are symptoms of serotonin uptake. So, which is going to be one, you're going to feel good in some areas and you're not going to feel good in others. So basically, this is where the symptoms always start within the first three weeks because your body has to get used to it. Like I said, it's been a slow, gradual change up until this point and now all of a sudden you just want to throw more at it and expect it to just work like aspirin and it doesn't work like that. Um, everything's got to be slow and gradual. So you are going to experience, a lot of times people are going to experience more anxiety. I experienced more anxiety. I thought I was doing super duper good and then I was like, all right, now that I'm doing super duper good, I'm going to start on Zoloft at the time and excuse me and i'm going to take care of whatever left of this anxiety that i have well when i started taking the zoloft i mean day one i thought i was back in the thicket like i was like in a dark place day one i was like whoa what happened i'm going backwards this isn't cool this is scary and this sucks this is kind of like where i was at before what am i doing um and that for people with high anxiety it's kind of normal, unfortunately. Um, it's not everybody by any means, um, but for, like I said, those of us with high anxiety, it's gonna probably be for the majority of us. And it probably won't get crazy crazy uh, like it did for me, um, but you, you gotta know that it's to be expected that you're gonna have elevated anxiety for a little while. However, I will say that after three weeks with this Zoloft medication that I was taking, I was still taking it and I was still having increased anxiety um, and it would be increased for like 20 minutes to a half hour and then it would kind of subside and I'd start feeling better. At that point is when I talked to my doctor and he said, well, maybe this one isn't for you if it's still giving you that elevated feeling of anxiety. That's when I switched to Lexapro. Um, so not saying you can't get it with Lexapro because when I first started Lexapro, it was the same thing, a little bit of elevated anxiety. Uh, it wasn't as bad. I wasn't going on like almost panic attack mode, um, but it was still elevated. So you got to hang out with that for, like I said, you want to give it at least three weeks. Um, and then if you know, you're still getting more anxiety because of the, not, it's not anxiety, it's more anxiety because of the medication. That's when I would kind of say something to your doctor. They might tell you to keep on rolling. So it just depends on your doctor and your health, and there's a lot of aspects. People ask me what they should take uh, medication-wise, and it's like, you know, I'm not the guy for that. You know what I mean? I can tell you what I have taken and how it's affected me, but that doesn't mean it's how it's gonna affect you. When doctors prescribe these things, age, sex, uh, are you pregnant, are you not pregnant, weight, what medications are you already taking, there are so many factors running through that doctor's head of why you should take this one as opposed to this one. Um, Lexapro, um, from my understanding, from my doctor down, you know, standpoint, if you can take it, it's one of the best ones to take because it has the least amount of side effects. And it's one of the newer ones, and um, it's kind of the more evolved out of all of them, if you can say that. They're all pretty much the same thing. So, but that's, so I was like, yeah, let's do that, let's try it, you know what I mean? I'm, open-minded let's go for it Zoloft obviously isn't working which is weird because I took Zoloft before and it worked fine but going back to Zoloft so your body's chemistry changes as you go along so uh, but yeah so that's uh, the serotonin reuptake inhibitor story um, it's it's not very convoluted but it's important to know this uh, so that you can understand why you're having the side effects that you're having when you first start taking it and why it takes a while to actually get into your system and start doing good in your system okay so I'm gonna leave it there um, I don't want to go on too long about this uh, but it's a, it is important to know why this works how it works um, for the better knowledge of yourself so that you can understand what you're going through all right if you guys have any questions comments concerns insults all that fun stuff uh, put them in the comments below I love hearing from you guys you guys are so awesome I love you guys so much um, I love your stories and I love who you get you like you guys like I always say it you guys are the nicest people anxiety people depression people they're always the nicest people um, because we're worried about not being nice <laughs> so all right friends until next time uh, share the video all that fun stuff I'm Aaron you're awesome see you in the next video